Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is about doing spin training in an ASK21. It's a two-seater glider. This glider is loved by all that fly it. It has a wingspan of about 55 feet. It has a glide ratio of about 34 to 1. Maximum gross weight is about 1300 pounds. The never exceed speed is 174 miles per hour in smooth air. Stall speed is about 39 miles per hour. The glider is very stable and has little tendency to enter a spin. In order to make spinning possible for training purposes or demonstration, you have to add weight to the tail. Based on the charts, we added about 26 pounds of weight to the tail. Even with the added tail weight, it was still difficult to spin. Now on this next image, this is the information I'll be displaying in real time. I used a built-in GPS data logger and added it to this video to make all these effects. Starting on the bottom left hand corner, that's ground speed. GPS cannot calculate air speed. So don't get that confused. At the top left is our flight time. Center is our compass heading. On the top right, that's our rate of climb indicator as measured in feet per minute. And on the bottom right is the altimeter. So let's get ready for the flight. So basically what's happening is the inboard wing or the inside wing in the turn is stalling and the other one is not. So it's an interesting hook below us on the right. It's not a not a red tail. He's below us there. Yeah, I saw it. Um, but uh, the, the wing is stalling and the other one's generating lift, so it kicks you over into the into the spin. And if you keep the rudder into it, it mm -hmm. just it just you know how it does, it just won't let you, uh, won't let that wing come out of it. So basically, you know, we're, we're turning, 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 and then, oh no. Oh. So now we get into a spiral dive. Oh, wow. You know, so we gotta be careful with that too. We can't just yank back on it in a, from a spiral dive. Every time you see a cloud and birds above you, the thermal's already quit. Okay, so I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a, spin to the right. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh god. No. <laughs> See how quickly that that was that was just about a maybe a half a turn of a spin. Oh, no. And then it went into a spiral dive and you gotta recognize that and not get really excited with a pull up. You see how that was? Yeah. Okay. So anyway, we got to be careful with that. that. That's one thing that's just it, it can really bite you if you got a if you're into a spiral dive and you get excited and pull up too much and okay. overstress it. Um, now that time I had full everything as much as I could get it to spin and it still didn't. Let me go for this cloud up here straight ahead and see what we get. That, was a, that, that wasn't a full blown spin, no. but it was close. So let's do another right turn. Still in lift, somewhat. Still good altitude. So, yeah, just keep bringing it in, bringing it in, and kick rudder. 
Hold the rudder, hold the stick. Oh. Okay. Probably going down there. What the hell are yeah, they doing? Down low, you know, in the pattern or something like yeah. that. You can't mess, you can't mess around. You got to feel it, feel it when it breaks, and do it. So I'm going to do a spin to the left this time. I don't see anybody else out here, so I'm just going to gradually abuse it. You know, I mean, okay, we're turning, we're turning, turning. Oh, I got to turn some more. Oh, there we go. See, it's not going to spin. It's not going to spin to the left. So, uh, that's the total. So let's go to the right. So, we'll get up under the best part of the cloud a little bit and get it to the left. So, let me see if we can get it to stand a little bit better. So, basically, you're in the turn, you're trying to come around, hold altitude, you're drifting a little bit. Pull it back and, and off it goes. <laughs> there it goes. Oh. Okay, that was a halfway decent spin. You know, I mean, that was a turn, one full turn, and it, it, it dropped into a, a spiral dive. Now you see, where the controls are really firm like that, that's when you got to be careful to, not to overstress. Okay, you want to try it? Okay. Okay, let's get back under the cloud here again. We didn't lose hardly any altitude. All right, you take it. Okay. We'll do spins to the right since it won't do them to the left. Or who knows why. Look around for a second. Yep. Get underneath this cloud. I think we're in good shape here. So. Keep coming back with it. All the way back. Feel how the controls get real yeah. I mean you can overpower that, but you don't want to. So let's go back under that cloud and we'll try to do that. Which again. one like that one? Uh, no, one certainly not. Okay. We'll go back under it and get into the lift and then do another one to the right. This time, uh, bring it up slower before you kick the rudder in and just ease the rudder in. Look again at the pump. 
run down there below us and see what the wind is doing. So why would you even want to do spin training? Well for me it was real simple. I purchased an ASW-20B and this is really important exercise before you go out and fly a high performance bird, I'll tell you that. Well I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure and look up all my other videos. Anything that flies, radio control, ultralights, sailplanes and a lot more. So you guys have a great day and we'll see you in there next time.